Hi everybody, it's Katherine McIntosh and I am Facebook Live. That's right. <laughs> so I so did not want to do this or be here. Um, and that's exactly what I want to talk about. So the art of change, comfortable or uncomfortable. So I've uh, been on Zooms for about four hours now. <laughs> I had a really good cry earlier with somebody and and it's really interesting this idea of change right and so this idea of change is really amazing because so many of us want change as long as it's comfortable <laughs> right and guess what guess what my friends change is not comfortable so I didn't really want to do this Facebook live I was gonna do a Facebook live yesterday didn't feel like it and then I was like okay I'll promise I'll do it today and hi you guys I love your hearts I adore you thanks for joining so grateful we're talking about change the art of change comfortable or uncomfortable and so so often, you know, I change for a living. I teach change for a living. I get paid to help people change. And last night I did a live event at my house. It was small, it was intimate, it was juicy, holy, awesome tidbits that came out of it. And someone said to me at the class afterwards, said, you know, I've been thinking about your class, but I don't know if I'm gonna choose it because if I come to your class, I know that I'm gonna to have to change everything. And I was like, wow, that's interesting. And then the person went on to say, I might choose a different class because then I can just <laughs> lay down <laughs> and not have to change as much. And I went, wow, you can ask to join, um, if it isn't the, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I totally know what you're saying, but uh, there we go. So, so what I want to say about change is change isn't comfortable. And so I was in London. I've been in Europe for an entire month. I've been home in Colorado for about three days now, still getting sorted, still sort of settling down. And it's interesting because comfortable, we try and go comfortable, like control how much change we're willing to receive, right? If I can control the change, then the change will be okay right and so one of the things is what someone said in London and they said well I want to be comfortable with being uncomfortable and I looked at the energy of that and I was like wow there's an element of order in there there's an element of ordering how much change you're willing to have there's an element of ordering the universe to say hey I'm asking for change but just this much right I'm asking for a new relationship, but it has to come in these circumstances. And so one of the things that I look at with change is actually, instead of trying to be comfortable being uncomfortable, which is order, would it create more if you were uncomfortable being uncomfortable? So if you guys were to try this out, do you want to be comfortable being uncomfortable or would you rather be uncomfortable? being uncomfortable. I know that's a weird concept, but change is about a lie. <laughs> Voika says so uncomfortable, totally. And so here's the thing is when you're asking for change, when you're asking for more, when you say, all right, universe, this has not been working for me. I need something different. And then something different comes along and you go, oh yeah, not that. That's not what I'm talking about. So then you fine tune. Okay, universe goes, okay, so what are you talking about? So you get clearer in your ask and then it delivers something else and you go, no, that's not what I'm talking about. And if you do that with like 20 different things, eventually the universe goes, well, do you actually want change? Or are you okay being where you're at? And so when we're asking for change, it literally is about getting out of your comfort zone. Right? You guys have seen the quote, you know the quote, that nothing <laughs> magical happens outside of your comfort zone. Right? Or nothing magical happens inside of your comfort zone. The magic is outside of your comfort zone. And so change is not comfortable. 
Being vulnerable with it is not comfortable, right? And so here I am, I didn't want to do a Facebook Live because I'm like, oh, but I've been crying today, right? I've been letting it out. I've been letting the change like, okay, universe, I'm asking for a bigger life. So am I willing to allow that bigger life to show up in the way that I can no longer control? And so, right, are you willing to allow the change you're asking for to show up outside of your control, right? Because the magic happens outside of your comfort zone. That's right, hearts and likes, right? The magic happens outside of your comfort zone. And so if you are ready for a bigger life, more, Here's what happens is you ask for more. <laughs> Teresa says, I was, I was crying a lot today. Me too, because I'm changing. You know what? I'm letting some old stuff go. I'm letting some like stuff that I didn't even know I was at the effect of. And all of a sudden it showed up in my face and I went, wow, okay, that's changing. Thank you for the information. So when you ask for a bigger life, everything that like, so if, if you're here and you're asking for a bigger life, right? When you go to ask for that bigger life, guess what's going to show up before you get there? All the belief systems, all the thoughts, all the feelings, all the emotions, all the patterning, all the constructs, everything you thought is all of a sudden going to surface and get in the way between you and where you want to go. And what most people do is they spend the rest of their time or the rest of their lives focusing on all the stuff that surfaces, right? And so it's great to pay attention to what's surfacing and, and when you go push it to the side and go, you know what, no matter what, I'm going here. It doesn't matter what roadblocks show up in your in your face, right? <laughs> Boyka says, OMG, good to know. I've been crying a lot this week, says Patricia. Yeah, me too, right? Because all of the sudden, when you start asking for what you actually want to be having and being in the world, everything that's ever been in your way will come to the surface. And so if you have that knowledge, right, that is all the uncomfort. All the uncomfort is all the unconscious patterning that all of a sudden surfaces and you got to deal with it, right? You got to deal with it. Dieter, thank you so much for sharing. So if I'm giving you guys information that is an OMG moment or contributing to you and you want to share it, let people know to join live. I don't know how long I'm going to talk for, but I'm going to talk until, until we're done. <laughs> However long that takes, I was on a meeting with someone, um, I'm doing a, a, some live events in Hawaii in December, and she said, well, how long can you talk for? And she knows me really well, and she starts laughing, and she goes, oh my gosh, who am I talking to? Duh, you'll talk for hours. And I'm like, yeah, I don't ever tire of talking about a topic. So hi, you guys, welcome if you're just joining the party. We're talking about the art of change, comfortable or uncomfortable. And so when you are trying to control change, you're trying to create the idea that change is supposed to be comfortable, <laughs> right? And Cherie says, I love you, gorgeous. I miss you. So she says, it's so easy to get stuck because I think I missed it. Hold on. Because it's comfortable, right? And what's so interesting is being stuck, is it actually comfortable, right? Being stuck is actually so uncomfortable and yet we're like, oh no, it's fine. So part of my tears this morning while talking to a friend of mine was, oh my gosh, I didn't know that I was eating McDonald's hamburgers for like the last 10 years of my life when it could have been, could have been eating filet, <laughs> right? And so, hi sweetness, Carol, welcome, thank you for joining. And so you don't know what you don't know and there's nothing wrong with that. But all of a sudden when you go, oh, I could be eating filet every day and I've been choosing McDonald's hamburger meat, right? McDonald's hamburger meat, then all of a sudden you go, oh my gosh, I'm going to start choosing the better quality of life. So if you hang on, you will find out what this is about, right? Um, hi, you guys. I'm trying to keep up with you, 
Right. And so Teresa says, have we misidentified familiar as comfortable, right? Yes. A controlled, uncomfortable familiar is not always comfortable. Right, and so let me give a, a concrete example. So let's say you're somebody who know, wants to get in better shape or you want to improve your health or you want to maybe lose a few pounds or you want to start eating healthier and you've gotten comfortable, right? I'm gonna say comfortable with the familiar. So the familiar is you got a few extra pounds, you don't really feel super healthy, you're like, oh yeah, it's fine, I'm okay with it, right? But the truth is you're not really okay with it because every day you wake up and whether you're consciously or unconsciously aware of it, there is the, I'm not enough, I'm not doing what it takes, I'm just going to do what's comfortable. So all of a sudden somebody says, do you want to go to yoga or you want to have a glass of wine? You go for the glass of wine because it's more comfortable, it's more familiar. But take 10 years down the road, 10 years of choosing a glass of wine over choosing a yoga class, now choose both, great. But eventually you get comfortable in the fact that you're not choosing your greatest life. You're not choosing what could actually contribute magic and miracles to you. And so here, my friends, it's about being uncomfortable, being uncomfortable. So someone says yoga or wine and you go, oh, wine's, wine's where it's at because it's easy. I know what happens when I drink wine. But then you wake up the next morning and you didn't choose the yoga class or you didn't choose the dance class or you didn't choose a healthy lifestyle in that moment. I'm not saying wine isn't healthy. I'm all for a good glass of wine, right? And so um, what it is, I just fall and watch when English people speak. <laughs> That's cute. So what it is, is this idea of if you actually want change, if you actually want to transform, the challenge is to start choosing everything that is uncomfortable and out of your comfort zone. Because change, yeah, I love you guys. Thanks for the hearts. Change happens outside of your comfort zone. And so when you go to look at what is possible, what you want to create for your life, it's about being vulnerable. Now I was crying earlier before I got on here and I didn't want to get on. <laughs> right. So Patricia says I'd pick the yoga and have the wine afterwards. Exactly. Exactly. And so for you that are watching and you're actually asking for change, my invitation would be, what if you were willing to be uncomfortable being uncomfortable instead of comfortable trying to be uncomfortable? right? It's sort of an oxymoron. So anything you try to do to control the amount of change you're willing to have, you limit the possibilities of what the universe can contribute to you. Hopefully I'm speaking English. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense, <laughs> right? But anytime you try to control the uncomfortable, you limit the possibilities of what the universe can gift you. So when you're willing to be, I love the hearts, yeah. When you're willing to play with the possibilities and be out of control and be uncontrollable and be uncomfortable, then what can show up for you on the other side is the you that you've always known possible. And so I have been in it, in it today, in the tears, in the gratitude for the change. And when I was crying, my friend said, Oh, like, don't worry about it. I'm like, I'm not worried. I got this. Thank God I'm crying. Cause you know what? I'm ready to change a pattern. I didn't even know I was in. And so if you are ready for a bigger life, if you are ready for more, start to notice, do you tend to gravitate towards the uncomfortable or do you tend to gravitate towards the comfortable? And if you're truly, 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 yes, my friend, truth is true. So my, uh, my invitation is start to go for the things that make you uncomfortable.
go for the things. That's why I'm sitting here right now live with you because I did not want to do this. Oh no, it would have been a lot easier to like hang out in my house by myself with my tears, but I'm going to get on my mountain bike, something I didn't want to do. I'm going to move my body, right? Oh, thank you, Sharon. So I'm going to Basically, what I want to invite you all to do is what if you start to get out of your comfort zone and get uncomfortable being uncomfortable? Because if you've ever tried to give somebody a gift and they control the way you give it to them, if you've ever been in a relationship with someone and they try to control you, right? Cool, I'll answer that in a second, Sheree. So if they try to control you, it's not so fun. So she says, what will happen keeps going through my head. What strife will I cause in everyone else's life? And totally. And Sheree, I, I hear you, girl, because here's the thing is, if you're worried about what everyone else is going to think about you and how they're going to respond, then you're at the effect of them controlling you. I know that sounds crazy and it's actually part of my tears this morning is I have been sort of playing nice maker <laughs> to everybody in my life and I woke up this morning realizing that doesn't really work for me anymore. I noticed this morning that I'm ready to make some waves and make some changes and you know asking for a big life. I've been traveling all over Europe teaching, playing, facilitating, meeting some incredible people from all over the world and it hasn't always been comfortable and I keep saying yes and so only you, Cherie, know what to do, when to do it, how to do it, what to create. And so do it, do it, baby. I love you, Paul. Thank you. So only you know. Did it go away? No, I'm still here. Wow, that's the first time I had a call come through while I'm on Facebook Live. So, so the invitation is only you know. No one can tell you how to do your life. No one can tell you how to do relationship and be with your loved ones. But if you're not happy, the question you can start to play with is, wow, if you could choose change, what would you choose? Now, it doesn't mean you have to do the change, but what if you could choose change? What would you choose? And then start to give yourself permission to play with, wow, it'd be fun to fly to Hawaii for a month. Hmm, what would that create for my future? Wow, it'd be fun to <laughs> stay with my girlfriend next door, door for a week. What would that create? Hmm. And so you start to give yourself permission to sort of envision what your future would look like based on all the different choices. Where we get stuck is that we become a victim to our own choices. We become a victim and make ourselves, <laughs> right? <laughs> Do whatever you want. <laughs> I choose fun totally. But that's the thing, and Paul is right, is you got to choose fun because you know what? At the end of the day at your funeral, someone's not going to go, like, celebrate. You're not going to go, oh, man, I wish I wouldn't have chosen as much fun as I did right? At your funeral, hopefully you're going to be like, I didn't hold back, right? And if other people want to blame you or victimize you or make you wrong for your choices, then you got to look at what do you actually want to be choosing? And what sort of people do you want to add into your life? The people who celebrate your choices for fun or the people who want to make you wrong for your choice to create the best life you know how with what you're delivered, okay? So this isn't permission to just like go out and be mean to people. This is choose for you, right? And anywhere that you notice you're being at the effect of other people's opinions of you, Right, Gary Vaynerchuk, he's one of my favorite people, and I'm paraphrasing one of his quick Instagram videos I saw the other day, which at Gary V, I love you, you're an inspiration, thank you so much, is he said, you know, at the end of the day, if you're worried about what other people think about you, other people's opinions of you, it will kill you. He goes, the only thing that matters is your opinion of you, and if you harp on you, right, then what kind of life are you going to create? But if you believe in you and you keep going, 
right? Which is uncomfortable. If you have a hundred people who want to make you wrong for you believing in you and you're willing to stand on an island by yourself and go, you know what? No matter what, I'm going come to paradise. I'm coming, baby. I'm coming to Hawaii. I would love to see you and missing the dance with you too, my friend. Yes. So I will be in Hawaii in December. Um, so Basically, you got to choose what's right for you, what brings your heart alive, what makes you sing, what makes you dance, what makes you happy, because at the end of the day, you got to choose joy and fun and play. And, you know, it's not permission to crap on other people or talk crap about other people. This is permission to give you the choice and it is is uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable to feel like you're making a choice against what other people think you should choose. So I think that's all I got for the art of change and comfortable or uncomfortable. My friends, if you truly want change and you truly want a greater life, then every time you ask for something greater, all the uncomfortable comes to the surface. So choose to continue on your journey, no matter what it looks like, because you know what? There's only one you in the world and you're magical and you deserve the amazing, oh, you're so welcome, Cherie. Mwah, I miss you. I wanna come play with you sometime or come dance with you. So I adore you guys. I think you're amazing and you know what? Keep being the magic you truly be. And if this contributed to you and you wanna share this video after it's done, I would encourage you to share it. You're so welcome, Juniper. So I adore you guys. Keep being the magic you be. And if you truly want change, don't control how it shows up and be surprised by the magic. Because when you let go and you actually let the universe contribute to you, the universe has your back, my friends. It does. I promise. I've been there some days. I'm not there, but the universe has your back and it desires to contribute to you. So I adore you all. Thanks for all the hearts and love. And we will see you on the flip side and go out and make it a magical, magical, magical day. See you later. You're welcome. Mwah. Bye, my friends.